trolling. Trolls. Trolls. Internet trolls. Trolling. Trolls. Internet troll. Trolls. Trolling. Rows of trolls. Trolling. Trolling. According to the Urban Dictionary, is the act of deliberately, cleverly, and secretly pissing people off. Something that the people of 4chan are quite proficient in. Trolling campaigns have always played a major part in 4chan's history, dating back to its inception in 2003. Sometimes the trolls were funny, sometimes they were not. But all of the time, they certainly were fucking stupid. The year is 2007, and the degenerates of B who are coming fresh off the heels of another Herbo Hotel raid are looking at the next target. GameStop. Now, it is not quite known why GameStop was chosen in particular, but the objective was clear. Call as many GameStop locations as possible and ask for the 1991 classic Battletoads for the NES, a game GameStop does not have. And so, the plan is set, and on the 12th of November, it begins. Over the course of the next three days, more than 40 GameStop locations in the US get bombarded with thousands of prank calls from fortune degenerates. The pranks at first are quite mild. The employees don't really understand what's going on and explain that they simply don't have the game in stock. Some of them even start to do some research to see if there has been a newly released game they aren't aware of. However, as the hours go by, the mood starts to sour. I'm gonna take this battle to each other so far up your fucking ass, buddy. I don't have time for this fucking bullshit. You don't have time for this bullshit. I don't have time for this bullshit. <laughs> battle Toads is my fucking son's life. This is Morgan. How can I help you? Do you guys have battle toads? Excuse me. If you guys continue to call, I will have to report these phone calls to the police. It's harassment. Oh, I apologize. Okay. And then it will go into the law's hands, and it's out of my hands from there. You may think it's funny, but it really isn't. Battletoads is fun. Mm-hmm. Hi, I'm looking for a game to pre-order a game. It's called Battletoads. It's called Battletoads. 9,000 Mudkips edition. I'm looking for the one that has the Mudkip action figures. I don't have that one. I have the one that has your mother with it. Really? Yeah. How much would that be? Your mother? Yeah. Your mother's pretty cheap, so I'm gonna go with like five dollars. Will that include the mudkips? Following these interactions, videos of the call start being uploaded to the internet, where things really start to get off the rails. Oh, you want to ask a question about a game? Spell Toads? A new game trailer release. Spell Toads? What is the best game of the battle 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 It was starting to get a bit annoying, really. But it did not stop there. Battletoads for the Xbox 360, Battletoads the movie, trailer for the new Battletoads for the Wii. People even made a website called preorderbattletoads.com for the sole purpose of getting its visitors to call up a church of Scientology and ask for a copy of Battletoads. Meanwhile though, the situation at GameStop was getting even worse. The prank calls were getting increasingly infuriating, prompting GameStop to do a conference call to come up with a plan to deal with the situation. And what was that plan? Well, not much really. They just instructed the employees to say kind to the pranksters and talk to them as if they were ordinary customers, which might not sound like much of a plan at first, but this tactic actually proved to be very effective. The employees were no longer getting aggravated at the calls, and the joke immediately ceased to be funny. The meme started to die as quickly as it rose, until it finally disappeared. Until... In 2011, the Fortuners decided to give it another go, but this time with a new victim. Rick Pawn Star Harrison. People were now calling the gold and silver pawn shop and pissing off Rick and his employees in the process. Dude, you, you got a real small dick or something, dude? What? I mean, because really, you know, I mean, it's a Saturday night. I mean, I would be out trying to get laid or something, you know what I mean? Instead of like playing around prank phone call with people, you know what I mean? Battle toads. Battle toads. Yeah, I mean, I mean, really, dude, I mean, are you fat? Are you ugly? I mean, you just don't, you just can't get laid? What's the deal? Battle toads. Okay, so obviously you're fat and ugly, can't get laid, or you got zero fucking game. Battle toads, Rick. Battle toads. This went on for another few months, until this one stopped being funny as well. Villa Italian Kitchen. If you've never heard of it, it's a restaurant chain that is usually located in US malls and airports. The food there is uh, meh. But in 2012, they came up with a brilliant advertisement campaign. They had partnered up with Mountain Dew's parent company PepsiCo to sell a new apple-flavored version of the cancer-inducing drink. 
and they wanted to let you, yes you, decide its new name. To do that, they created the Dub the Dew contest where everyone on the internet could suggest and vote for the name of the new Mountain Dew flavor. Which I must say is just such a genius and innovative way of interacting with your customer. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it looks like Villa Italian Kitchen did not completely think this one through. But what exactly happened here? Well, 4chan happened. B caught wind of what was happening and immediately started going to work. The names Hitler did nothing wrong and Gushing Granny were their favorites. But winning the contest would not be as easy as getting the number one spot. Villa Italian Kitchen had set up a jury that would choose the winner by selecting one of the names in the top 10 which just encouraged 4chan to make various variations of the same names to force the jury to pick one of them. After the first initial hours, there were probably like 10 different variations of Gushing Granny in the top 20. But Moist Grannies were not the only thing being voted for here. There were also a lot of other bangers like Fapel, Soda, Cock, Diabetes. Diabetes. What the apple did you just appling say about me, you little apple? I'll have you know, I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs and I've been involved in while people were posting these names though. Fortune started to inspect the website a bit more thoroughly. And what do you know? The security was lacking. And so they hacked the website and started defacing it. With some rig for added flavor of course. But as funny as all of this arguably was, Mountain Dew was not as amused and decided to step in. On the same day, they shut down the website and put the contest to a halt, leaving us with the final name of Apple Mountain Dew. The last thing you'd want on your Burger King burger is someone's for- Okay, now I can do this. Cut! The story starts on the 16th of July, 2012, when an anonymous Fortune user posts this picture of him standing on two tops of lettuce with the caption, this is the lettuce, you eat at Burger King. Obviously. Not funny. This post was clearly intended as rage bait. I guess he just got off on the idea that he could piss people off by messing with their food, knowing that they wouldn't be able to stop him. Because I mean, what are they going to do? Find him? Yeah, right. Yes. Or at least, they intend to. But how? They don't really have a lot to go off of here except for this one picture, which isn't really going to make this any easier. But even so, the degenerates are up for the challenge. And a challenge they would get, because what ensues from here on out is a very difficult and arduous effort to decipher the OP's location lasting many months. Is what I would have said if this idiot hadn't forgot to remove the EXIF data from his photograph, which completely exposed his channel whereabouts. Truly amazing. But anyways, the EXIF data from the picture indicated that it originated somewhere in Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Does Mayfield Heights perhaps have a Burger King nearby? Yes, it does. Now let's call up some local news, contact the Burger King headquarters and the manager of the restaurant and voila, Lettuce Man is fired. 